Hi everyone and welcome to Crafters Castle's very first YouTube video hop. We are so excited about this and I am going to be giving you all the details. But first I also want to remind you about Crafters Castle Challenge. It is monthly and I would love for you to enter. This month's sponsor happens to be Paper Wishes, and they are generously offering a $20 gift certificate to their store for the winner of the challenge. So you don't want to miss out. And as usual, I'll have the link below in the description box to Crafter's Castle so you can check it out. Be sure to click where it says Show More, and it'll drop down, and there's going to be all kinds of links and information there today. And now for the exciting part, the grand prize. Woohoo! The grand prize winner is going to get three sets of dazzles. Party animals, celebration, and music. So you have a variety for all of your needs. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you something. You need to pay really close attention when you are watching the other hop videos because there might be other giveaways going on along the way and I'm not going to tell you, you are just gonna to have to pay attention. Before I show you the frame that I made, I wanted to show you the beautiful paper pack that I'd got the paper from. It's called Indigo Lace. It is a hot off the press product from Paper Wishes, and you get 12 sheets in here, two of each design, and they are just beautiful. I think it's kind of a, Oh, what would you call it? A rustic country look. But each one is double-sided, so you get a lot of beautiful designs in here that you can use. I just love this pack. Absolutely love it. And you're going to find that out because I'm going to be making more than one project from it this month. So this is what you get, and you get two of each. I'm just showing you one of each right here. But you get two of each of these beautiful designs. This is the beautiful frame that I made with that paper and it was so easy to do. It started off as this one dollar frame from Michaels and what I did was I used a spray adhesive on the frame and then I laid the frame down on the paper where I wanted it. Now, obviously, I put it on the back side so that when we turn it over, we get the front side. And then I just used a craft knife to cut around it and also to cut out the heart because obviously we had paper from top to bottom. And then I gave it a few coats of Mod Podge matte spray. It's a clear acrylic sealer, and I did that to protect the paper. And then from there, I added this cute little flower that I made. I made that one as well, and I have a link below in the description box to my tutorial video on how to make those flowers. But I thought they were just perfect. I thought they complemented these um, lace-looking, flowery, doily design on here. Thought it was just perfect. And of course I added the little little pearls to the center. And check this out. There are pearls, flat back pearls, lining the inside of the heart. And I didn't paint the frame. I often do, but I did not have a color that matched. And I thought this whole, you know, rustic wood background would be perfect to leave leave it unpainted, but I did do something special to it. I put a pearl trim that I happen to have that fit perfectly, and I put that all around the edges. So it's very elegant. And that handsome guy there and that beautiful girl, that is my son and his fiance. And they happen to live in Oregon, not far from Paper Wishes. So one of these days, I hope I get to go by there and visit. But this is the beautiful frame that I created for my project today.
thank you all for hopping along with us today. And don't forget, the links are below in the description box to the rest of the videos for the design team because you have to watch them all in order to be eligible for the hop giveaway. And also don't forget to check out Crafter's Castle Challenge that is sponsored this month by Paper Wishes and it is open to all kinds of crafters. It's an anything goes. If you're mixed media, card maker, scrapbooker, it is open to you. So please check it out and happy crafting everyone. Bye-bye.